This is first. Okay. You say you want to use the Department of Education to monitor extreme political bias. President Obama at a town hall last month in Ames, Iowa, responded to a student asking about your policy, and the president said, I have no idea what that means, and I suspect he doesn't either. I would drill down a bit with this. What do you mean by extreme political bias? I don't have time to go into it all, but there was a college in Florida where the professor said, everybody writes the name Jesus on a piece of paper, put it on the ground, and stomp on it. A, a, one student refused to do it, and he was expelled. That's extreme. So, but are you saying that you want the Department of Education to monitor speech on no, college? No, I'm going to have people send examples of it in, and we're going to investigate them, and then we'll formulate a policy. Dr. Carson, you're now leading in Iowa. That means you're more susceptible to uh, criticism and direct attacks from candidates. Will you respond to those attacks? Uh, I've been attacked since I got in this thing. I, it's nothing new. The only question is, will there be 10 attacks today or 15? <laughs> Uh, our nation's debt, do you think it's a risk to our sovereignty and how do you fix it? It's a very big risk. You know, the only reason we can sustain the kind of debt that we have is because we can print money with the reserve currency of the world. And we may not always be. We would collapse immediately if we were not. We have to start developing policies that will allow us freedom in case we cannot print money. Dr. Carson, you're asking, I mean, you're answering a lot of campaign related questions on your book tour. And I know the people outside are with the super PAC, but there is sort of the appearance that. Uh, there's no real meaningful difference between this and your campaign. I mean, is well, there a meaningful difference between what I'm, you're saying here? I'm here to you're... sign books and I'm being courteous and asking you a question. What do you attribute the way that you've uh, are resonating with people like here today? Well, basically the fact that you know, I'm not a politician, and you know, so I tell the truth. You know, I don't have my finger in the ear, trying to figure out what people want to hear. And you know, you know, right now we have a lot of issues in this in this country. One of the reasons that I wrote this book is so that people will understand the underpinnings of our liberties and also understand the functions of the government and the restrictions that are on the government. Carson. Uh, what's your favorite music to listen to on the road, just to relax? Uh, I love uh, classical music, and particularly Baroque period. Your Iowa State Director says that you're excited to be spending more time in Iowa, given the new poll. Will you be spending more time there than you have? Uh, I'll be there later on this week. Dr. Carson, what's your opinion on Joe Biden deciding not to run? Well, I sympathize with Joe Biden. He lost his son, and that's got to be an incredibly difficult emotional situation. What about your opinion on Hillary Clinton testifying for Congress? Well, I'm glad she's gotten around to it. It's a good thing. Uh, Benghazi is a very serious issue because it goes to the core of who we are as Americans. Do you think the committee has been delegitimized at all? Uh, I think there are a lot of people who try to say it's delegitimized because they don't want to get to the bottom of the situation, but we have to get to the bottom of it because it's very important. But it hasn't been overly partisan? I don't believe it has been, no. And the excerpt of the book, uh, what's the book about? Well, the book is about our Constitution. Everybody knows we have a Constitution, but not everybody knows what's in the Constitution and what's behind it. And it's very important because it spells out the basis of our liberties, and it also tells the function of the government. And it very specifically defines the role of our government and it helps to constrain the government because the natural tendency of government is to grow concentrate and dominate and it was to make sure that that did not happen in this country. Last question right here. <laughs> and you know I've been talking about the Constitution for <laughs>
it again, right? Thank you. 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 Thank you.